most important tool you need for buying liquidation truckloads. What's going on, Liquidation Gang? It's your boy, John Liquidator, and I'm back with another Diddy. Oh, guys. So you guys are wondering, what the hell happened to John Liquidator? Well, guys, I decided to take a couple of days off, man. Um, I wanted to just kind of give the channel a break, give it a breather. Um, a lot of you guys don't know, man. Us as content creators, man, um, it's real easy to get trapped into the youtube world and not you know focus on reality the real things that's going on around you because you're worried about somebody else's channel how many views they're getting your views your watch time hours it's just so much stuff that goes on behind the scenes that like still deal with the youtube world that you got to give yourself a break guys so as the channel grow and go um, I will be taking, you know, small breaks. It'll never be no more than about two, three days. And it'll all, always be sporadic. So I'm never going to let y'all know when I'm going to do it. But uh, for the most part, man, I just had to give myself a break. You know, it's uh, really hard creating content every day and bringing it out here to you guys, man. It is, it is, it is. So um, I put a lot of work into these vlogs day in and day out. To uh, bring you guys some good content, man. And it's not easy. I must remind you, it is not easy to bring you content every day. But with that being said, guys, we're, I'm pretty much back on track. Back to daily vlogs. Back to dropping how we normally drop, baby. So, updates with the store. Um, I'm currently, as you guys can see, still here at the old store. Um, I'm still trying to get the deal done with the new guy. So, uh, hopefully, before the end of the week out, um, I'll be at the new store working, painting, vacuuming, shampooing the carpet, and getting it all ready to go, man. And so um, hopefully um, we could be in there in the next week, week or maybe two weeks or so, be into the new store, fully moved in, and just pretty much getting our stuff together to, to get ready to have another grand opening. But uh, with that being said, let me show you guys the store. So as you guys can see, stuff is uh, pretty much the same. Um, a little barrel chair left today. I've been working half a day's. And, um, yeah, I just have not just really been having the urge to come in. And I'll be honest with you guys. And then um, I like taking times like this to spend time with my family, put the phone down, put the camera down, and spend time with them. But I did shoot a dope vlog over the weekend with Tara. So uh, that vlog will be coming out in the next day or so. I'm still editing it. We went to the, the foundry, St. Louis foundry. It's just a place for local small businesses. A lot of women-owned businesses, too. So um, I just uh, shot a vlog with them, a dope interview with one of the owners of a uh, women's own business. And so uh, you guys could be looking forward to that content as well and regular liquidation stuff. Me and Tara might go out to the bands because she said something about the bands. She need to go do something. I think she might be shooting a vlog. I don't know. But I know she's uh, rounding me up so we can go ahead and do that this week. But judging from the title, man. This video will be about the most important thing you need when buying liquidation truckloads. This is real important. This is like super duper important. This tool I'm about to show you guys. I'm going to show you guys how to work it, operate it, and everything. But with that being said, let me get my camera set up out in the warehouse and show you guys what this tool is. Holler at you guys in a minute. Peace. Hey guys, so I'm back. So I know you guys are wondering. What is the most important tool you need for buying liquidation truckloads? And it's standing right here next to me. Will this thing on out? How jack, man. So anytime you buy liquidation truckloads, man, you always got to make sure you have one of these. This is a pallet jack. I have two here on stock. I like to keep one in case one of them go out. Sometimes they can't go out. So whenever they go out, they won't be able to go up and down. Um, I got mines off Craigslist. Uh, you can buy these either off Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, or anywhere like that. I got both of mines for like 150 bucks, man. They range anywhere from 500 all the way up to like two to three grand. Um, I recommend you guys just buy one off Craigslist or Facebook Market. They all do the same thing. Uh, they typically lift up to 5,000, all the way up to I think 15, some maybe even lift 20,000 pounds. This is more important than a forklift, guys. Some people may say different, but my opinion is this is like the most important thing you need. On the back of them, they typically have um, the diagram for showing you guys how they go up and down. 
Uh, so, so typically, make sure that's up. So whenever you want to raise the pallet jack up, just flip this down, look over here to the side. You just raise it up. Now it is gonna be a little tension on here. You just raise it up, all the way up, high as, high as it can go, you know, to make sure it works. Now this metal part here, I sometimes spray WD-40 on mine every couple of months, just to make sure it's all nice and lubed up. Now, whenever it get like as high as it could go, you will get a little plate in the arm. So let me turn this around, let you guys see it. So whenever you get a little plate in the arm, then you know it's as high as it could go. So whenever you wanna drop it down, just flip this up like that. Then you press it. Watch it drop it down, guys. But uh, yeah, so like some people uh, might not use a pallet jack. Some people might use a forklift, I would say, the pallet jack is just way more important because even once you unload the truck off a of forklift, um, you still need the pallet jack just to move the pallets from here to there, just around your space. You guys can see I got a lot of pallets. Um, hopefully the pallet guy come pick them up, man. But um, let me show you guys how you pick up the uh, pick up a pallet. So you always want to make sure you line your forks up. I like to be in the middle, so. On the pallet, it got this little lip here. So I always try to eyeball it, man. So I try to eyeball the middle of the pallet, which is right here, this right here. Line it up with that lip right there. So you literally just line it up. I've been doing it for so long and damn. Now you always wanna make sure that your pallet is flush all the way up under the pallet, going all the way to the top of the pallet. So as you guys can see, this is flush. And you'll just do the same process. You'll flip this down, and you will literally just jack it on up. Jack it on up. Boom. I like to make sure I'm about an inch, maybe two inches off the ground. As you guys can see, now I can move the pallet. Now, some people do this rushing. Let's say that your pallet jack is not all the way under. Let me show you what's going to happen. So some people do do this rushing. You could either break the skids on the bottom, or if you got some really heavy stuff on here, it'll more than likely start leaning back, and your pallet jack might start going up in the air, man. So you always got to make sure your pallet jack is fully, fully flush, man. Let me park this pallet on back. Right here where it go. Then you literally just click it on down. Bam, pull it on out. And bam. So the pallet jack is super important, guys. Um, you always gotta make sure you have one of these, man. Whenever you buy liquidation truck loads, I use mine for everything. I wouldn't be where I'm at if I did not have one of these. Um, you always uh, want to use them whenever you unload your trucks too. It'll save you some money for us like if you don't have enough cash to get a forklift. Like I stated at the beginning of the vlog, get one of these for 150 bucks and uh, you can pretty much get any liquidation truckload that you want as long as you got a dock to unload uh, to unload it from or you, or you got an 18 wheeler with the lift on it guys. Um, yeah guys, this is super important because you don't want to be the guy unload the stuff off the like pallet on the truck and then you you know making an assembly line the driver gonna get mad and then they might not ever let you buy from their company again so yeah guys and then like i stated i do have another one and my other one is out here this is the one i physically unload trucks with it is hot y'all so this is this is the big boy right here the five thousand pound one one, I think the other one, hold up the 5,000 pounds. This one, the men threw some things too, y'all. This one got a lot of miles on it. So this one is strong. That's the one I use the most. You guys see, man, I got pallets everywhere. But uh, yeah, man, so 
You always want to make sure that you got a power jack, man. This is the most important tool that you'll need, man. This guy right here. And this is my baby. This is my favorite one. That's why this one stays in. It's real easy to get stuff with. Like I say, man, you always want to make sure the wheels is all lubed up. You want to make sure all your um, bearings and everything like that is good on these things, man. Because you definitely, definitely going to put a lot of miles on it, man. But... That's pretty much it, man, for it's the most important thing that you'll need. Um, they, they're they not too bad, man. They're they're pretty affordable, guys. Uh, it's pretty much, you know, you could get one online anywhere. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty much it, man. I do want to say shout out to the new subscribers, man. We almost at 400. I'll be happy whenever we do hit the 400, guys. I ain't lying. Um, every time a subscriber count go up, man. It always be like a tear jerking moment, man, because you know, guys, I I didn't I didn't have a rough life, man. You guys really don't really know like all the stuff I'd have been through, man. And so anytime that subscriber count go up, man, it's just really, you know, touch my soul, man. And uh that's what really keep me motivated. The subscriber count, the comments, inter interacting with you guys, all this stuff, man, really touch my soul. But uh with that being said, man. It's the end of the day. Shout out to all the new subscribers. If you guys have not done so, follow me on Instagram and Facebook. That is at John the Liquidator on Instagram and Facebook. If you guys ever want to talk to me, you guys can always private message me or DM me on any one of those platforms. I'm very quick to get back with you guys. And uh, yeah, man, uh, keep all post notification bells on so you guys don't miss a video. Also, guys, click a like on this video. And always remember to share the videos. That's how Liquidation Gang gonna grow. But it's been fun. It's been real. And it's your boy, John the Liquidator, man. Checking out with another video. Peace.